what the is this? Someone's getting fired. I hope this one decision doesn't bite me in the Mrs. Chevy Dude and I have to travel out west for three or four days, and we're not gonna have any access to our cell phones, technology, nothing. So we're going to put our daughter, who we just employed two months ago, in complete charge of this company. And the uh, only thing she can't do is fire Grant. She can't fire Grant. Grant can fire her, though. My middle daughter, who we just hired, knows nothing about cars. We're gonna give her full control to buy cars, make decisions, spend money, run this company. I hope this isn't a huge mistake. Three weeks later. So besides the Halloween tree, why do we have a Halloween tree in September? I have no idea. Uh, they actually bought five vehicles and I have not looked up any of these vehicles. I don't know anything that's going on. So we're going to uh, just let them arrive and let me be surprised and we'll judge Caitlin on how well she did and if we're gonna fire her or not. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What is this? Christmas. It's not Christmas. It's, it's Christmas. September. It's Christmas. I'm confused. We have trees, we have skeletons, we have snowmen, we have pumpkins. And you're wearing orange today from Hocus Pocus University. <laughs> yeah, I said I'd decorate for Christmas and I did. I just decided to also decorate for Halloween. All I can say is this was the first week that we gave you to run the company and I gotta say it was not very good. No, I did it successfully, 100%. <laughs> Went above and beyond my jobly duties. Even well, work on a Saturday. We're gonna have to hit the button. All right, so the cars are here that they bought. We'll see what happens. Yeah, and you're probably thinking, dude, what's wrong with your voice? I don't know what happened. I was in altitude. We we're at over 4,000 feet, and uh, I came back like this. So hopefully it's just a little bit of altitude sickness or whatnot. Pray to God it's not COVID. All right, so Grant bought this Lexus. Caitlin, I think this might be a CRV that Caitlin bought. And okay, so just a little bit of broken paint there, but PDR, not a big deal. Grant loves these Lexuses. I, he, he's been trying to get us to buy one for a long time. So good sunroof, got all sorts of leather. Not doesn't look too bad. Broke the paint. Yeah, broke the paint. So I just saw so a little ES350. So on the outside, it doesn't look too awful bad. I think this is Caitlin. Oh my God. What is that? What is that? Oh my gosh. That whole freaking fender's caved in. I thought this thing just needed paintless dent repair. Not, oh my God, that's not paintless dent repair. All right, and then looking at the Lexus, I see we're gonna need to put a windshield in it. So hopefully this was accounted for and it's got PPF on it. I don't know why people put PPF on just half their freaking car. That's so stupid, it's so cheap. And so now we're gonna have to uh, ask Caitlin if she uh, knows about the damage of this car. Did you realize the condition of the CRV? Yeah, it's just a thin dent. <laughs> a thin dent? What, do you guys think that's a thin dent? A thin dent? So you guys said dent. A thin, it's just a thin dent, Dad. Don't worry, don't worry about it. We're, we're good. Did you see that thin dent yet, Grant? Not yet. So how are we gonna fix this thin dent? You. You don't, you don't know? You just, you just buy something like, yeah. Dad's in Utah, he'll figure it out. No, got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, I did not want to be putting this on the internet, but she just said PP. And PIPI? PIPI. -I -P -I. So, Caitlin told us conveniently after we said we'd hire her, before her first start date, she shows up and tells us and gives us a gift that indicates that she is pregnant. So, she starts here, and I am being beat up by both of them now. It is two to one. Gran is not supporting me at all, <laughs> not one bit. I think you're gonna be called Granny. No. Uh, <laughs> come here, Granny. Gigi. And so yes, they came up with Gigi, and I don't have a name picked yet, but Caitlin thinks PP, P-I-P-I. -I. So I don't wanna be PP, so don't even put that in the comments, but I need a better grandpa name. I'm 46 years old. I definitely need something 
better than PP. So as I always say, I'm always scared when a Toyota dealership does not want to sell a car that's in their make and model. So don't have to do headlights, which is nice. You can see they had it retail ready and uh, clean look, plastic on here. So that's helpful that we don't have to detail it. Uh, when, let's see here, 82923, last serviced on. So I'll have to check the oil and see if that's done. We'll do our 172 point inspection, but great Michelin tires and uh they probably so a little bit of touch up there not a big deal um a little bit of buffing paintless didn't repair there and we got to fix the thin dot so, so headlights we can probably do those there myself all right so looking inside we just got we're right at 100,000 miles i don't see anything goofy on the inside shifts in reverse fine shifts in drive fine so no big deal there i looked under the hood no issue so i think it's just uh not a very good detail. We have to detail it up a little bit. That's what happens when you spend $150 on a detail. You get this type of service. See, there's even a dime down there, so it's paying off already. But uh, no, I think it's I think it's a good car. Headliner needs to be cleaned a little bit. What I need to figure out is how much recon she put into this, uh, built into our cost, so that we can fix these dents and stuff like that, and then uh, go from there. See if we can turn this thing for a profit, and that way we can. Uh, be on our way to our next 100 cars. So our next uh, 100 cars we want to sell is by the end of the year, December 31st. Oh, and by the way, starting October 1st, we're gonna start doing Toys for Tots collection again. So if you want to uh, join in to our mission this year, of giving the most toys away in the country, uh, make sure you get on Amazon and just ship us toys right to the dealership here. You can find the address on Google. All right, Grant is back with the Traverse. How's the drive? It uh, doesn't have a transmission problem. Oh, that's good. So that's that's awesome. good. Front end shake at 70, 75 miles an hour and maybe a motor mount. Other than that. Okay, that's simple. Good good vehicle. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Now, why'd they get rid of it, though? They get rid of it because the dealership charged the used car department full retail and sometimes a higher than full retail for recon. So, outside of this car being dirty, is is nothing it's really dirty right so it's really dirty back here i mean it's really really dirty look at that oh my god that's so disgusting the guys down at uh five diamond detailing are gonna have to do some cleanup on this three days later and then we have this one right here the next vehicle is a 2010 honda pilot and i gotta say that this probably isn't caitlin's fault there's a little bit of uh mishap here on the auctions part that we bought this from they didn't disclose a few things and these are huge things so uh so i can't blame to her but the issue is that the auction changed their arbitration policy and unless we pay extra money which i don't agree with unless we pay extra money uh once we buy a vehicle it's ours they're not going to take it back and so this is a case where i would rather have sent it back but i didn't pay the extra 150 bucks and if you do that 200 300 times a year that's a lot of money that you're wasting on the if chance of having to take one back so you just have to fight it and go on it so right down here we can see some rust not a good thing you guys know my history with rust i don't like that and then when we pop in here you can see that we have rust in here too so it's completely 100 percent rusted through it's rusted through down here i took a big piece of this off already it fell off uh, when I was showing the arbitration team that. And then we come back here and we have rust through back here. Not sure how they don't see this and point this out to us in pictures. It's very noticeable. This is probably, in my opinion, where you have dealership friends and buddies and they're like, oh, just skip over that. Or they stand right here while they're taking pictures. Hey, how's it going? You have a great day. How's your family? What about the U of M game? What about the U of L game? What about the Colorado guys? Blah, 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 right? And then they walk around it and distract them. There's all sorts of little games. And then the big one back here, and this one is this, I don't know how this happened, but this rust right here is absolutely insane. And the biggest thing that I found was that one of the pictures uh, that showed back here, the sun was glaring. So imagine this right here and having like this glare like right there this glare was coming down matter of fact i'll show you the picture right here that's what it looked like so you can't see that rust in pictures and that's definitely not caitlin's fault 
So we're gonna have to uh, argue with them and figure that out because that's pretty bad and I bet that's rusted all the way through as well. All right, the next car that we got was this really awesome looking uh, Lexus RX 350. And it's a, it's a really nice vehicle. I didn't get to see it when it came in because I was battling this cold and actually went home one day uh, for a few hours uh, to sleep. But so we're good on that. This looks really good. We actually already have the uh, Traverse sold. Grant's really good at selling things, so that's already sold. And uh, so we just need to do like headlights up here, uh, detailed on the inside, and it should be good to go. And then we have this one right here. They bought a GMC Yukon XL Denali, and this has got me extremely scared. I do not like this in any way, shape, or form. We're going to have to go drive it because it came in and it has a Indiana temp tag on it that expires 1023. So that means uh, the temp tags are good for 45 days. And uh, that means that that was sold on September 8th. So that means just a few days ago, this thing was sold and most likely brought back. So this dealership uh, is representing this car to be uh, good, um, but I guarantee you it's not. So, uh, We'll have to see what it's like.